Good afternoon and welcome to the homestead. So we got a lot of questions on the DIY 3548 and we told you in the last video where you saw us putting a whole bunch of power to the 5048 that we'd do like a side-by-side -side comparison of them talk a little bit about what's different about them and uh, you know what you can and can't do with both of them. So first right off the bat you kind of see they're almost identical. Well they are identical. They're exactly the same size, same height, same width, same thickness off the wall. The only physical difference on the outside is this one has a breaker and this one has a push button instead of the breaker. They both have the same ports on the bottom, the same rocker switch to turn them on, the same display. Uh, this one's not powered up of course. The difference, the other difference being electrically speaking, of course this one's 3500 watts, this one's 5000 watts. This MPPT is good for up to 145 volts. This one's good for up to 500 volts. So that's one big difference. Boy, we got some pollen, um, even in here. It's spring here. So that's the big difference between the two. You know, the, the PV charge controller, 500 volts, 145 volts. Either one can be overdriven in power. So you have to be careful that you don't overdrive it voltage-wise because they won't tolerate that. But as you saw, we put like nine or 10 kilowatts on this and it's only good for about four. And it just only used what it could. It didn't worry about the rest. And this one would be the same way. You could overdrive this one, you could overdrive the 3024. But that's in a nutshell, the difference between the two. They're both 120 volts only and they're both 60 Hertz. I think both MPPTs, I think this one will do more like 3000 Watts and this one will do 4000 Watts. Um, they both have about the same surge capability, I'm going to say about double their rating. So this will of course surge more than this one because this is 5 kilowatts and that's 3500. But they both work well, they both uh, have done everything we've asked them to do. We ran the house off this one quite a bit using our auto former, which you can't see, it's behind all the crap down there. Uh, we ran the house off this one quite a bit and we've had instances where the well pump and the mini split and everything else is going all at the same time. And I think only once. Um, so can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think only once did we ever overload it and have it shut down, which is fairly impressive for our house. I mean, it's a full house. It's got two computers, TVs, you know, uh, we were running a deep well pump, half horse deep well pump, three microwave. Quarters. Yeah, the microwave was on at that time. The mini split, the Fujitsu mini split was also on it. So we had a three quarter horse deep well pump, a small microwave, the well pump came on and the mini split was on in air conditioning when that happened. So that's pretty impressive. That's a lot to ask out of a 3500 watt inverter. This one, of course, would be a better fit. It's 5,000 watts. We currently run the whole house off a 6800 watt XW. So they're only 1800 watts difference. We are excited. We're going to get Midnight's new 10 kilowatt, I believe it is, split phase dual 500 volt MPPT DIY here. I'm told probably by mid July. So we're going to get that to play with and test and put through the paces. So that's obviously going to be bigger than one of these because it's 10 kilowatts. It's split phase, dual MPPT. But it's also going to be very affordable. Uh, I don't know what the price is going to end up being through midnight. I, but I suspect it's going to be, you know, maybe half again as much as this one or maybe even double. But that's still very, very affordable. And I actually think it sells to the grid. So this is kind of interesting. Uh, I've been talking to the engineers on the firmware and it sounds like it's actually going to pass ETL for anti-islanding to do all the grid cells. So that's going to be kind of cool. But yeah, that's kind of the that in a nutshell. You know, you all asked about the 3548. We punished that a lot. We actually have one in Florida that we used for a golf cart charger all winter um, for a friend of ours because he blew up his golf cart charger and we needed to do some menu work on it. And the 5048, again, is just seems to be just as bulletproof. You saw us put a whole bunch of PV on it. We've run the house off in it. We've not had any problems. We do have the e-panel coming next week. So when we get the e-panel, we'll do a video on how to install it, what it all looks like, and that will clean this all right up. You won't see the wires hanging anymore. Um, you'll notice that the engineer is gone, so the covers are all back on most of the stuff. It's a little bit neater now. So... I think that wraps up the DIY questions. Can you think of anything else I didn't answer? No. 
Well, if you've got any more, definitely leave them down below and we'll do our best to answer them. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.